Welcome to this full fat burning workout. This is a great workout to do if you've gained a little bit of weight and you are trying to get rid of it. It's a complete workout with the warm up and cool down included. So we're getting started with some basic front kicks. Do whatever you like with your hands and kick your heel in front of you. You're looking good, almost there. Next up, we're going to have some knee hugs. You literally just want to hug your knee as close to your chest as you can. Your range of motion may be different from mine and that's okay, just do your best and move as quickly as possible. You're looking good. You're looking good. So far, so good. Next, we're going to do butt kicks. You want to gently try to tap your heel to your butt. Do this very slowly and gently, especially if you haven't done this in a while, just to make sure your knees are protected. Nice. Now we're going to do some step jacks. This is like jumping jacks, but with no jumping. This is a great way to warm up, get your heart rate up, and to just get your whole body nice and lubricated for the actual workout. Go as quickly as is comfortable for you. Keep going, you're doing good. Perfect. Next, we're doing knee hugs again. You already know how to do this. Hug your knee as close to your chest as you can. Your legs are going to be working very hard during this workout, so you want to make sure that they are nice and warm and ready to move. You might be getting a little tired already, but that's okay. It's just part of the process. Just keep moving. Do your best. Good job. We're going back to those butt kicks again. Make sure that you are doing your best to touch your heel to your butt, but go through your own range of motion. If your legs can only go halfway, that's fine. The most important thing is that you're moving. Look at you go, I like what you're doing, good job. Next up after this, we're going to do some squats. You're going to put your feet about shoulder width apart, drop as low as is comfortable for you, and just squeeze your glutes at the top. You really want to make sure that with your squats, you're pretending that you're sitting back into an imaginary chair. That's what's going to help you get the best form and get the most out of your workout. Just a few more seconds. Keep going. Perfect. Next, we're doing lunges. Keep your hand on your waist and just step each leg forward. Don't let your back knee touch the floor and try to keep an eye on that front knee. Don't let the front knee touch your toes. I know it's a lot, but the more you do this, the better you will get at it. You're looking good. And the last move in our warm-up is the side lunges. You're going to lunge to the side and then press back up. Make sure you keep your core tight. This will help you maintain your balance. You're looking good. You're doing good. Just a few more. You can do one or two more. 
perfect job. I want you to take a few seconds to take a break, grab some water, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, follow me on Instagram if you haven't done so already, and after the break, I'll be back to do the whole workout with you. You got this. Welcome back. We are starting off with some jumping jacks. If you don't want to jump, I want you to do the variation on the right where you are doing step jacks. And if you feel comfortable, you can do the jumping jacks with me. You keep your core tight and you just move as quickly as you can. Let's go. You started off great, so just keep going. You're doing good. If you get tired, you can switch to step jacks. Just keep moving. That's all that matters. Are you happy now? Now, now? Just a few more. Very good. Next, we're going to do some air squats. Remember to keep your core tight, keep your feet about shoulder width apart, pretend you're sitting back in a chair and just move with all the power that you have. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go at your own pace. Your pace is good enough. This exercise is so good for toning your whole body and targeting your lower body. It's just a great all-around exercise to do and you are doing amazing. Positive thoughts, positive thoughts, think positive thoughts. You did it, good job. Next, we're doing alternating lunges. You already did this in the warm up. Keep your core tight and step forward one leg at a time, making sure your back knee doesn't touch the floor and your front knee doesn't pass your toes. Are you ready? Let's do it. Don't listen to the voice in your head. Listen to yourself. Good. Keep moving. You're doing just fine. Just keep going. Man, I am so proud of you. You are pushing. Let's do some mountain climbers. You're going to get on the floor, support yourself with your hands, and just run as if you're climbing a mountain. Remember to keep your core tight and move as quickly as is comfortable for you. If you do this slowly, it's going to target your abs. If you do this quickly, it's going to help you burn fat. So either way, you cannot lose as long as you are moving. Push, 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 just a few more seconds. You're doing so good.
Just give me just a few more. You can slow down. Good job. Next, I want you to roll into your back and we are going to do some bicycles. Keep your core tight, keep your lower back on the floor and try to touch your opposite elbow to your opposite knee. Listen, you are more than halfway through the first set. You are killing this workout and I am so impressed. Just keep going. You look good. I like the way you're doing this. You are getting it right. Keep that core tight. Keep that lower back on the floor and go at your own pace. Good. Next, we're going to do a full plank. I want you to keep your core tight. Try to keep a straight line from your shoulders all the way to your ankles. Keep your hands shoulder width apart and just think happy thoughts. You got this. You can do this. Let's get into it. Your butt is going to want to either sag down or hike up toward the ceiling. Don't let it do that. Control that booty. You can do it. Good job. If you need to break and take a quick two seconds, that's fine. Do that and just get back into it. Oh, I'm so proud. Next, we're going to do mountain climbers again. It might be impossible to do this quickly, so it's fine if you go slowly. Just make sure that you keep moving. Are you happy now? One leg at a time, that's all you have to do. You have one more exercise after this and you get a full one minute to rest. You have earned your rest, so keep pushing. Almost there. Go, 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 you got this. Yes, last move before the break, gliding scissors. You're going to put your hand under your butt to help make sure that your lower back stays on the floor and you are going to crisscross your legs in a scissors-like motion going up and down. Convince yourself that you got this, cause you do. Remember to help use your hand under your butt to keep your lower back on the floor. Also keep your core tight and just do your best. You are so close to your break and you are doing so good. You did it! You did it! You have completed the first set. Good job! Please take a minute to congratulate yourself, drink some water, lay on the floor, and just, ah, you are amazing. Again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It's free for you, and it means so much to me. You can also follow me on Instagram, and I will see you after the break. If you need a longer break, you can just pause the timer. I'll be right here waiting for you.
Welcome back. We are getting started with butt kicks. If you are up for it, you can do the version on the left with me. If you are not into jumping, then you can do the version on the right. You want to just go at your own pace and through your own range of motion. Keep your core tight and try to touch your heel to your butt. You are killing this workout. You are doing so good. Keep pushing. Perfect. Side leg raises. You're going to keep your core tight and raise your leg to the side one at a time. You can hold your waist for balance or you can hold a wall for balance. Just a few more, keep going. Well, actually, it's more than just a few more, but you know, just keep going. You're doing good. You made it! You did it! Let's get into star jumps. On the right, I have the variation for anyone that doesn't want to jump, and on the left, I have the variation that I will be doing. You are going to keep your core tight and jump wide and open your hands wide as well. Remember, if you don't want to jump, you can simply step from side to side. You're doing good, just keep going. If you need to pause for two seconds, three seconds, take your pause and get right back into it because you got this. You got this, you can do this. Less than 10 seconds to go. You, do you have that in you? I think you do, I think you do. Oh, good job. Next, we're doing split squats. You're going to put one leg in front of the other as if you're doing a lunge and you're just going to go down. You don't let that back knee touch the floor. You don't let that front knee pass your toes and you keep your core tight. Notice that my back heel is not touching the floor. This is one that may take some time to really get the form and it's okay. It's okay to take your time to get the form. You're moving and that's all that matters. Switch your legs and do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. Now we're going into high knees. You want to place your hand in your goal for where you want your knees to reach. And on the left, you can see me going really fast. On the right, I have a modification. If you don't want to jump, pick what works for you and go at your own pace. It's fine if your knees don't actually touch where your hand is. Where your hand is is just a goal to guide you to make sure that your knees are going really high. Go, 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 go. You're doing it. You're doing it. Yeah. 
I know, I know. Push, push. You, you got this. You can do this. Almost there. Yes. Next, we're doing squats. You already know how this goes. Keep that core tight. Don't let those knees pass your toes if you can help it. And squeeze your booty at the top. I like to put my hands in this prayer position because uh, I need prayers to survive this workout. I don't know about you. Let's get into it. Remember to keep your core tight and to pretend you're sitting back into an imaginary chair. Yep, you're doing it right. Good job. Just a few more. Perfect. Next, we're going to do side shuffles. You're going to take three steps to one side, touch each toe, and take three steps to the next side, touch each toe again, keeping your core tight the whole time. Don't do this if you have a tendency to get dizzy. If you get dizzy, instead, just touch your knees instead. Keep your core tight, shuffle, step. What did I just say? Okay, delete that. Keep your core tight. Run to the side and touch your toes. Go at your own pace. If you tend to get dizzy, don't do the part of touching your toes. Just shuffle to the side and tap your knees instead. Go at your own pace. You're doing good. Perfect. Last move before the break, jumping jacks. You're going to keep your core tight and just do those jumping jacks. If you don't want to jump, you can do the variation on the right where you're just stepping from side to side. Keep going, you're doing good. After this, you get a break. After this, you get a full minute to rest. Good job. You are more than halfway through this workout. You are doing so good. Take some time to rest, drink some water, catch your breath. Think about how great and amazing you are doing. I am so proud. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't done so already. It's totally free for you and it means so much to me. I'll be back after the break for our last set together. You are are almost done oh my gosh You're back. All right, let's get started with crab walks. You're going to keep your core tight and simply walk to the side like a cute little crab. Don't you just love these types of exercises? Keep your core tight and take as wide a step as you can manage. Good job. 
This is your last set. You got this. Keep going. Good job. Next up, we have boxer bounds. You're going to bound from side to side and do a small punch at the top with your hands. If you don't want to bound from side to side, you can step from side to side like I'm doing on the right. Do the modification that works best for you. It's best to start this off slow until you get your rhythm and just go for it. Just go for it because you are doing good. Can you believe this is the last set? The last set. You have made it through almost this whole workout. You are amazing. Keep going. Perfect. Next up, we have split squats. You keep your core tight. You don't let your back knee touch the floor. You don't let your back heel touch the floor. You don't let your front knee pass your toes. So much to keep track of, but it's so good. Give it a shot. It's actually not too bad once you start doing it, right? Keep your core engaged to maintain your balance. You're doing a good job. Switch legs and keep going. Perfect. Next up, we have high knees. On the left, I have the variation if you're okay with jumping. On the right, I have the variation you can do if you don't want to jump. Go, 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 keep going, keep pushing. You're doing so good. Don't stop, don't stop. I want you to push, do your best. Take a few seconds to catch your breath and get right back into it. Yes. Just a few more. You can, you got this. Yes. Perfect. Next, we're doing side bends. You're going to keep your core tight and just try to reach your hands to your, the sides of your knees. Are you happy now? You are more than halfway through this last set. Can you believe that? Almost there. Almost done. Killing it. Now 
Next up, we have some star jumps. You are going to do the variation on the right if you don't want to jump, and you can do the variation on the left if you're okay with jumping. Keep your core tight and just try to jump your hands, jump your legs as wide as possible and open your hands as wide as possible at the same time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You can do this. Listen, you have only two moves after this, just two. You didn't come this far only to come this far. You came this far because you got this. You are pushing yourself for a reason and you can do this. Perfect. Next, we have boxer kicks. You are going to go into a squat, twist your torso, and kick. Go into a squat, twist your torso, and kick again. Really keep your core tight. That's what's going to help you maintain your balance and get the most out of this exercise. Almost there, you're doing good. Last move, high pulls, last move. Keep your core tight, pretend you are pulling something from the ceiling at the same time you are raising your legs. I want you to give me everything you have left. Are you ready? Let's do it. Just 45 seconds, that's all you have to do. How amazing does it feel to know you did this? Keep going, don't stop now. Just push, just push, you're doing good. You got this, keep going. Oh my God, you did it. You did the whole workout. You did this. You have worked out today. You are amazing. Don't ever doubt that. Oh my God. Good job. Let's get into the cool down portion. Get on the floor and just stretch out your quads. You've done a lot of jumping. You've done a lot of lunging, a lot of squatting. You need to stretch out those quads. Hold this for as long as it's comfortable for you. Then switch to the other leg and do the same thing. Wow, that was amazing. You are amazing. Really stretch out those quads. Tell them thank you for taking you through this workout. Your legs worked hard today. Next, you're going to be stretching your hamstrings. That's the back of your thigh. Just really lean into that stretch. Do your best. Go through your own range of motion and breathe. When you're ready, switch to the other leg and stretch the back of your thigh. Go through your own range of motion, just breathe.
Next, I want you to just lay on your back like a little baby and just hug your knees to your chest. You deserve a hug after this workout. Gently rock from side to side. This is a great massage for your back. A great way to just relax after an intense workout. Rock gently from side to side. Think about what you're going to eat after this workout because that's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm always thinking about. Finally, I want you to just lean forward and try to grab your toes. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in my next workout video.